There's growing recognition that the world needs to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by mid-century in order to avoid the worst impacts of climate change. One of the things we're very excited about at Clean Air Task Force is some emerging technologies for zero carbon fuels that could really bring down costs and promote wide deployment and utilization of these. Zero carbon fuels are fuels that emit no carbon dioxide when they're burned. So hydrogen, for example, is two atoms of hydrogen bonded together. Ammonia is hydrogen and nitrogen bonded together. And when these burn, they don't emit any CO2. We engage in a, a catalytic effort between the technology developers and the customers and the policymakers to try to accelerate and streamline all of the development activities that go into ultimately deploying these fuels. We are currently engaged with a number of companies that are working uh, to advance technology that can significantly reduce costs. But those companies need public policy support. They need incentives. They need support with state government recognizing perhaps the advantages of the technologies they're producing. And we're working with them to develop a suite of policies that can help these fuels and these technologies going forward. Collaboration is really the only way we're going to solve most of these problems, and especially when you start talking about whether it's business to business arrangements or policy, you need to have a number of voices at the table and you need to be taking the best ideas and then linking arms and really pushing for the right solutions.